How do we restore trust in a relationship once the trust has been broken? Hey, I've been there. <laughs> it's not a pleasant feeling. However, you know what I've come to learn about that? Trust is not about the other person. Trust is about what happens inside of you. When you learn how to trust yourself, when you learn how to trust your spirit, when you learn how to trust your intuition, when you learn how to trust your instinct, that's what matters. Because then you are going to smell or feel or know that something is not right. Most of us don't trust our intuition. When we look at relationships a lot, I always say to my clients, let's say they've come to the end of their relationship and everything is in shambles. I'll say, okay, let's go back to the beginning. There were signs. There've always been signs. And you're ignoring your intuition mostly. So when we ignore, when we ignore our intuition or we don't know how to listen to it, we don't know what it is yet. We've not learned to recognize that voice, okay? Then we're going to oftentimes make decisions that are a knee-jerk reaction or because someone else has told me that's best for me or something like that. You see, when we do that, we're not trusting ourselves. We're externalizing that and we're probably fearing making the decision on our own. Whatever it might be, it might be a relationship, a business, friendship, anything, okay? So then we look outside for answers, and that's mostly where we go wrong. So the journey begins within ourselves by always going back to that little thing I always say, give yourself one hour a day in the morning when you wake up, or half an hour, or if you've got to break it into two, perfect. Sit with yourself, breathe, meditate. Go outside and be so grateful for this beautiful world that God has created for us and for which we have the privilege of living in. Journal, speak to yourself, write your letters to God. Write your letters to the people you need to write them to, even if you never ever send them. Express and write, not type, because when you scribe or write, it's like God's divine energy flows through you and every letter has a shape and a form and carries its own frequency and vibration. So when we start doing things like this and then we start connecting with people who are more like-minded, but it starts with yourself and it starts with deciding that you want to be in truth because any broken trust, right, is a betrayal. Now, law of correspondence or law of attraction states energy will always attract its same vibration. You are energy. You are frequency. Every thought, every emotion, every experience that you've lived and how you've reacted or responded to that vibrates out of you. And like a magnet, you have this invisible energy field that attracts or repels and repels. So what you're attracting into your life is a direct reflection of what's happening inside of you because your input, thoughts, emotions, ideas, etc., is your output. And your output is your frequency. Law of attraction states energy attracts its same vibration. Boom. You're going to meet people, experiences, etc., that meet you right there. And when you have lack of trust within yourself, and when you have given your power away throughout your life, for example, and all you've done is attract deception and betrayal and broken relationships and friendships and whatever it might be in so many instances. 
that is a reflection of what's happening in you. So instead of being angry with a person for breaking your trust, your trust was already broken, right? It was already broken. And if you are honest enough with yourself, you're going to know that. All that person was doing was reflecting to you, back to you. That's what we call the mirror. What was not right in you. As I always say, the very thing I'm not liking in you is what I need to heal inside of me. So where have I betrayed me? Where have I not trusted me? Where have I not trusted my intuition, my inner guidance? And that's where the journey begins. Because it's very easy to say to someone, you bastard, you broke my heart. Look what you did to me. You did this, you did that. The minute you're still saying to someone, you did this or you did that, it means you're in victim mode. And anyone who's in victim mode, right, feels less powerful, as if something or someone is stronger than them. And that's not true. So what you want to do is say, right, let me take the broken shards of my heart back from you. Because I can see your heart is so broken, you had no idea how to take care of mine. You hadn't even begun to take care of yours yet. I see I've done the same. So let me take back the broken shards of my heart and let me heal my own heart by learning how to trust myself, trust my intuition, trust God's inner guidance, and acting on that. Knowing when your intuition is speaking to you, act on that. You smell that bad smell. Nah, and getting there. Thank you. Namaste. See you around. Learn how to trust yourself. <laughs>